What's happening everybody? My name is Glitterbox. You can call me Gigi if you want to. And I am here today to show you my June and July 2014 anime pickups and favorites. This is a brand new channel. Welcome to Anime Palooza. We're going to show you in style everything to do with anime. Not a lot of manga. I don't really read it. I do have a blog. I'm going to link it and it's going to lead you to what basically I've been watching if you want to get to know me a little better before you sit down and, you know, take 11 minutes out of your life to watch this YouTube video. June and July, I bought a lot of crap. Why did I buy a lot of crap? I had some extra money. Then my car broke. Now I don't have any money. So next month, this video might not be as convoluted, but we'll take a look and we'll get there when we get there. So here is what I bought in June and July. Say goodbye to my money. So the first thing I'm going to show you today is called Ristorante Paradiso. Nozomi sale was going on over at Right Stuff, so of course, you know, I had to dip my fingers in there. I picked this up just basically because I had heard a couple of good things about it. I tried watching an episode once. I thought it was kind of boring, so <laughs> I don't know exactly why I bought it, but then I watched about four. Um, I like it okay. It's very slow. It is about this girl who goes to... Um, Italy to find her mother and well she knows who her mother is but her mother basically left her when she was a girl um, to marry this dude who started a restaurant and in this restaurant all that works there are old men with glasses then she starts to fall in love with one of them and then shit hits the fan fell asleep through it if that helps eh. next thing on my list is Yu-Gi-Oh! volume 3 I have one two and four they were all on sale had a hard time trying to get three, but I finally got it for a price that didn't suck on Amazon. Let's be real, I watched five out of six discs of this. <laughs> okay, now when I was a kid, I never really watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Never. I have no idea what it was about until I started to buy it because I like to buy like the classic-ish anime, you know, the ones that are really long. I have a thing for really long shonen series. Um, I probably will never finish them, but I'd like to make that goal for myself that I will. So I picked it up and I started watching it and this week I've been watching it incessantly. I really like it. My mental age is about five right now. Sorry, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! Deal with it. The next thing I picked up is Cat's Eye. Once again, pre-ordered this off the Nozomi sale. It came with this really cool art box thing. Um, I like it. I have no idea what it's about. I haven't even opened it yet. Here's the little back. I guess I could dramatically read the back of the box for you. <sighs> Cat's Eye is the most notorious group of art thieves in Japan. No one knows their identities, but for most of Tokyo, the mystery only heightens their allure. Yeah, sounds okay. I have a thing for classic anime. I'm gonna watch this. The only thing I know about it is that one of their songs used to be on Dance Dance Revolution. On of like a Cat's Eye, everybody's dancing. I sing it, but it's probably copyrighted and that's not gonna fly. Next on the list, I have Naruto Shippuden. This is volume one. I have all the rest of the Naruto series, minus the movies, because I watch them for free on Amazon Prime. Um, the movie, the first one that I watched sucked, so I don't feel like I need to buy them. I'm slowly, slowly making my way through this. Okay, so Right Stuff was having a sale. They were having a Sentai sale, Section 23, Made in Japan whatever they're calling it these days. It's the old ABV. I wanted to buy some things and then I found that they were a lot cheaper over at Deep Discount DVD. I haven't had the horror stories that most of the people have had from that store on the internet. I picked up The Familiar of Zero. I watched this a long time ago. I got to like episode nine or something and then I decided I wanted to wait to watch the dub because I found out it was dubbed and then I just never bought it. Like the Jenny on release is ungodly expensive. So I waited until it went on sale, till Sentai re-released it. I watched the dub. I watched the whole thing. That never happens. I watched the whole thing in like two days. The dub is really fantastic. I really hope they get the license to do the rest of the series that come out for The Familiar Zero because it is just nuts. It's like, it's funny. It's like hair me, but not really hair me. It doesn't really bother me. There's like fan service, but it doesn't really bother me. It's actually funny. The only part that bugged me was like, it's kind of predictable in some parts. Inuyasha, the final act. This is part one. It's ungodly expensive. Found a deal on Amazon. Pick this mother up. Uh, I've been attempting to watch the original series of Inuyasha. It's not going so well. I'm still on the first box set of it. 
Italia the Beautiful World. This is season five, according to Funimation. I have the other four plus the movie. I think I've watched two in the movie. It's really funny. It came in on pre-order. I wasn't expecting to get it as soon as I did, but it came in like a month early. Um, but let me tell you, the deluxe version of these, I bought one of them. It just has a stupid bandana on it. There's no boxes. There's absolutely no reason for you to buy the deluxe version unless you want a stupid bandana. And they're not even cute. So, Italia! Um, there should be another part to this coming out soon. I'll probably be buying it. Say I love you. Um, there's a Japanese name for this. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it because I think I sound really ridiculous trying to pronounce Japanese things. So I'm not even going to try. I love this show. It is one of my favorite shows. It's the second time I watched it on the Blu-ray when I bought this. Again, this was something where Bright Stuff had a Section 23 sale. It was cheaper at Amazon. Bought it at Amazon. Sorry, Right Stuff. If you were cheaper than Amazon, I probably would have bought it off of you. Um, I love this show. The English dub sucks. The main girl is okay, but like everybody else blows. Carnival! Carnival! However you want to say it. This is the deluxe set with the art box. It's so pretty. I'm gonna insert some shots of it. There's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Funimation sale on right stuff. Pre-ordered it. Had a good deal. I've watched three episodes of this, maybe four. It sucks. I mean, this is a really bad show. I'm not just joking. It is beautiful. The art box is fantastic. The character design is gorgeous. Why I purchased it. It is just not good. It is boring. Nothing makes sense. The dub is good, except for like an egregiously miscast Greg Ayers. Oh, P.S. They don't have a carnival. It's circus. Don't fucking judge me. No, legit. Don't judge me. I like school days. I make no apologies for liking school days. I think it's fantastic. I think it's an utter fucking train wreck. And if you do not have appreciation for utter fucking train wrecks, I love me some shoujo romances. So when I first watched this, I had no idea that it was supposed to be really bad. I watched it like when I was first getting back into anime in like 2007. I watched it not even on Crunchyroll. I watched it on some stupid fan subs and I was like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. I don't understand how this dude can be such a fuckwad and everybody likes him. What's a harem? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I fucking love this show. Don't fucking judge me. This is Sword Art Online. I'm making a shitty song because... I mean, that's what you do when you pull the Sword Out Online out of your pickups box. It is not only Sword Out Online, it is the limited edition of Sword Art Online. Box set number two. I bought it because it came with the card. Good thing I bought it when I did because a week after I bought it, it was sold out on Right Stuff for the one with the card. So I wanted the damn card inside. I haven't even opened it. So it shows you how much that card meant to me in the grand scheme of things. I don't like it because it's an action series. I like it because it is a romance. Kirito and Asuna are fucking adorable. Lost Universe. This is the, not the thin pack, this is the original box that I believe. Once again, right stuff is having a Zomi sale. I believe this is a spin-off of something. It's from the people who did Slayers. These are some art cards that came with Ristorante Paradiso. This is supposed to be like a limited edition something. This came out like over a year ago, so clearly it didn't really sell if I'm still getting the art cards on a sale. But if you look at this art style, they look really hideous. I'm gonna turn it around and show you this back one. Really hideous, but the anime is not that bad, but it's not something that you're gonna wanna go out of your way to watch just because of the art style. Dear Brother. Okay, clearly I pledge for the anime sold box set. It is ridiculous if you would want to pay $60 for it if you didn't pledge. Um, I feel really bad for all of you who did um, their $40 to start off with. This is number one. It is just a really obnoxiously dramatic shoujo drama. Oh my god. Shit that goes down. You think Mean Girls has a lot of shit in it? This shit goes down. This is some Mean Girls times 35 quality shit here. I love this show. I watched this first on like crappy fan subs on BO or something. It's really long. It's like 30 something episodes. Um, this is only the first 13. I watched this in like a day. No joke. I think I have a problem. Ramo one half. This is set number two, limited edition Blu-ray. I have set number one. I've watched a couple episodes of it. I've actually seen this entire series before. I love Ranma. Um, not the English dub, the English dub is terrible. But I 
love this show. I want to marry it. I think everybody should watch at least a couple episodes of this show. It's about some dude who gets hit with water, then he turns to a girl. His dad does the same thing, but he turns to a panda. Red Data Girl. This is the complete series. They only offered it on this DVD package from Funimation. Funimation sale. I watched a couple of episodes streaming on um, the Funimation channel on my Roku, which by the way needs to get some mad bugs worked out of it, so please fix that Funimation kidding. I thought it was going to be okay, an okay show. I thought it was a reverse harem. Um, I love reverse harems. P.S. It's not a reverse harem. It is some kind of weird thing having to do with gods and monsters and all this other crap. It's very convoluted and a little complicated to understand. I'm not up on my Japanese god monsters that are supposed to be real, so I'm really probably not getting out of the show what I should be getting out of it. Winding my way down to the bottom of my box now, this is Madoka Magica. This is the limited edition movie set, uh, Blu-ray DVD combo pack, part one and part two. I paid way too much money for this. I pre-ordered it. Um, but I love Madoka and so anything that they come out with, I will buy. And I will buy it in limited edition. It came with uh, a book. This box is supposedly a special feature. It came with a book. I haven't looked through it. I will insert some shots of it so you guys can see what's in the book. And last but not least, I bought Attack on Titan. This is the um, limited edition, but not just the limited edition. It's actually the collector's edition. It's got this horrible box. Um, it's got this card. It's supposed to be 3D. And the reason it was $100 is because it came with a bunch of jewelry. Woohoo! I found cuter shit on Etsy. Sorry. It came with this key necklace. It came with some pins. Um, there's four. And this sword necklace, which I'm wearing right now. I wish I would have bought the limited edition and saved myself 40 bucks. I thought this came with a box. It didn't. If it came with a box, it would have been worth the 40 bucks. Now I'm going to have to get the other collector's edition because right stuff sold out of the box. And get some stupid wall hangings that I don't even have space for, so whatever. It's got some art book. I haven't even looked at it. The case is the most god-awful case for an anime I've ever seen in my life. It's horrible. I can't wait to get a box to put it in the goddamn box. Funimation, why didn't you just put it in a box? It would have been so easy if you to put it in a box. And you didn't. So I have the $100 version of Attack on Titan. I actually bought two of these. I bought the regular edition to give to my brother for his birthday because um, one day he texted me out of the blue, do you watch Attack on Titan? I really like it. It's really awesome. So I said, yeah. That is all the anime I purchased in June and July. I did get one more anime related thing. These are the Sailor Moon capsule toy lockets. I got five of them, four or five, I believe. Um, I bought these on Amazon. They are supposed to be a ridiculous price of like $50. I think I bought them for $30. They're not worth $30, so if you're on Amazon looking for Sailor Moon crap to buy, you're better off saving your money and buying like the Proplicas. These are basically like Happy Meal toys. I mean, they're capsule toys, but they're really cheap looking. Clearly, they're in a freaking capsule. And they have a little mirror on the inside, like a little compact mirror, but it's so small you cannot do your makeup in it. You can't. I can't put it in my purse and be like, ooh, look at my cute new mirror, you know? It's a toy. It's a kid's toy. Like, a $30 children's toy that I bought hook, line, and sinker. Because I am just that amazing. Yay? Yeah, no, no, I, I, I don't know. So that's going to wrap up my anime pickups and my related stuff for June and July. We get to my favorites now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my favorite currently airing show at the time for the month and then my favorite older show just so you know because I do watch a mix of both and I'll also give you my favorite song, my favorite anime or Japanese related song that I've been listening to. Um, yeah, I'm a nerd. I play this shit in my car. So if I listen to it in my car a lot, like I'll specifically skip to get to the track and play it over and over and over again and sing it really obnoxiously. Is probably gonna be on this list. In June, my favorite airing show was Akuma no Riddle. Don't judge me, really liked it. I liked how it was episodic. I liked how it came to a conclusion and it wasn't the conclusion I was expecting. Was kind of fucked up. I mean, but fucked up in a bad way towards the end, but I enjoyed it. I had a great time on the ride. I really liked the opening song. The fact that there were like a ton of different ending songs. There was a different ending song every episode. It made me really happy. I really enjoyed my time watching it and I had to watch it every single week. Favorite thing that I watched that was a little older was Dear Brother. I cannot tell you how much I love that show. I mean, it just makes me happy to see all the fucked up things that these people went through just to go to boarding school. 
please buy it or go watch the stream on AnimeSouls.com. I mean, we paid money for it, so you might as well enjoy the fact that we put like thousands of dollars into the show so you guys can watch it. My favorite show in July, um, shockingly, as you can see by the little scroll behind me, was not Sailor Moon Crystal. My favorite show that I started in July that's seasonal is Aoharu Ride, which is Blue Spring Ride. <gasps> oh my god. I can't take how cute this show is. My favorite older show that I was watched in July is not that much older. It's kind of like my guilty pleasure. It's called Five Brain. It's season two, The Orpheus Order. It's called Orpheus Order. It's really terrible. It is like camp. It is pure and utter camp. The plot is horrific. It's kind of episodic, but not really. I just love watching these stupid puzzles. They're fucking puzzles. I'm not even watching the dub, I'm watching the sub down crunchy roll. But all these stupid puzzles, it is a hot ass mess. And the plot is terrible. And writing's terrible. It is the ugliest anime I've ever seen. I cannot stop watching it. If you want to spend some hours of your life just being highly entertained and be like, what the hell is this? Watch the first one, then watch season two, and you can love the opening theme because it's fucking catchy as hell. My favorite song? For June was DOA by Amy Blackschlager. It's from Attack on Titan. It is an insert song. I had no idea what this was from until I rewatched Attack on Titan. Like I watched the first nine episodes dubbed and I was like, oh, there it is. But I was constantly playing it in my car over and over. And I was like, God, what anime is this from? What anime is this from? Yeah, it's from Attack on Titan. It is when they are doing that training montage, like in the Survey Corps. Um, is it's in English. It's in English, which is nice because I can sing along to it and not sound like a complete douche. And then my favorite for July was the Batum opening. It is called No Pain No Game and it is by Nano. Nano? 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 Whatever. I had no idea what the words were until I read the subtitle on my Blu-ray copy of Batum, which I forgot to put in the box. I also bought Batum on Blu-ray. I love the tune. It's pretty awesome. Knock in the front. I'm addicted to the opening. I think I bought the tune and I'm currently watching it now because I wanted to see the opening. I have no regrets. No regrets. None. And that is it for my June and July 2014 anime pickups and favorites. Yay! You made it to the end of my very first video. You guys are awesome. So this is what I have to say to you. This is a brand new channel. What can I do? What would you like to see? I can do some seasonal stuff. I can do some series stuff that's not my, really my forte. Every week I will have a week in review. On my blog I do this thing called Anime Monday. Some hauls. Just hanging out, showing you fun stuff that's going on and anime related and dyeing my hair different colors. So. If you liked what you saw, you want to give me a shout out, please do subscribe, comment below, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, if you picked up anything that I had, if you had any other opinions. I want to talk to you, so let's hang out, and I will see you next time.